Yes. So, echoing much? Come on. Okay, here's the deal. Um, took about a month off. Put out that echo's gonna bug it out of me. Hmm. All right, here's the deal. I took a pretty long hiatus, about a month. Um, put out a video just the other day, kind of whack. Uh, but we have a lot of good stuff happening, and I'm going to give you guys a quick little update on this and let you guys know that I will actually be uploading weekly now. Uh, I believe it's been a week since my last video, but the content's actually going to be good. Um, I'm going to revert you guys to the past really quick for a little snippet that my brother hooked me up with. He helped me pick up something. So, you guys go ahead and watch that. Let me grab this. What do you do when you have one engine to build and uh, it's taken forever? Get another! <laughs> That's right, you get another one. Let's unload this bastard. Pull this. <laughs> Let that board strip that by the board. Grab the engine by the board. Dude, imagine if the tailgate just went. Wham! Boop boop! Nah, man, it's built like a brick shit house. Pull up the engine brick house. Penny, you better get out of it. Hey. So we're gonna get out. You wanna be dog food? Sorry. Okay, it's gonna go right here then. It's gonna go right here. Gentle, gentle, gentle. And Tilly. Okay, what do you think, Penny? I have a huge penis. Now he's saying big block stuff. <laughs> big block shit. I have a huge penis. Never break the crank, never break the crank. Oh, oh so gentle. <laughs> Okay. There's no way I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this to focus. What if you can read that? Crank? Looks like shit. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys remember, I have a 69 GMC that is absolutely uh, fantastic. It's a big, long, heavy bastard. Big old sex machine. Um, first, I want to apologize. I haven't put a video out in a little while. Uh, I, I, I don't want to call it a hiatus because uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means. So instead, I'm going to say I took a little bit of a break. Wedding stuff other projects, helping people with all sorts of random stuff, got caught up in a bunch of other junk, and uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna start trying to do like one video a week. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Uh, what an idiot, right? What is he doing? Why would he accept uh, another engine build while he has one going? And I'll tell you why, because I'm that kind of person. That's just who I am. I'd rather have way too much going on than just the right amount. So, now we got two engines, big block right over there, small block right over there, and we are going to actually be building stuff. What I carried in first and foremost, actually I should hit you guys up on that. If you can guess what this is, you've probably been looking at G-Botley stuff on uh, on Summit, because this is a transmission cross member for the Cutlass Supreme. It came with a little extension for the frame, and this way we can mount up our Turbo 400, and this thing will be bulletproof. This thing's pretty hefty. Yeah, it's pretty beef. Um, so rad. 
That'll be its own install video. That'll probably be a quicker one. I'm gonna try and make it a quicker one because I feel bad making you guys watch 20 minutes of me being an absolute goober and a half. Um, whew, I had to calm down. Okay. Oh, my cheek locked up. Ah! Big block stuff. The crank, looking slick. He, uh, my machinist is awesome. He tried to clean some of the pistons, but I mean, I don't really blame him for not taking all the time in the world to do that. Because I can clean them up more if need be. That one definitely needs cleaning, but, um, Boom. This right here, my dear peeps. <laughs> Is this how I talk? I don't know if you guys know this, but it's kind of weird to just record yourself just doing stuff. Um, I do enjoy it. I really do. I absolutely legitimately do. Um, as weird as I may act, I love it. It's a good block. Made in Mexico block, so uh, we got like a 50-50 shot at it being amazing and a 50-50 shot of it shooting its, uh, shooting its metaphorical metal load all over the ground. Um, so we're already trucking on this. I've got rings filed for a couple of these pistons already, ready to go. Um, I may have gapped them a little bit extra, just a little bit, um, you know, just in case. Could not be more excited right now. That cross member is going to be badass and, uh, it's going to hold up to the abuse that I think I want to put this thing through. So, so I have a whole slew of parts, um, I think I should have legitimately everything to get this long block together. I do not have an intake manifold and carb. I have a carb that I might rebuild for it. It's just a basic Edelbrock. So I might try and, you know, fudge up a, I really like the look of the quick fuels and FST apparently is a really interesting company that makes good stuff. So I might look into something a little different, something a little more trick, something that I could run a little more performance instead of just worried about, you know, cruising it and doing fuel economy stuff because it's fucking boring. And I don't want to put you guys through that. <clears throat> just really quick, I wanted to also show you guys, uh, I've always wanted to order an ARP ring compressor because they just look great. And I feel like if you buy professional grade stuff, you might actually be able to fake it and look like a professional, but all you guys know the truth, but new people showing up might be like, damn, look at that, he's got an ARP compressor. I don't think it was like probably 50, 60 bucks. But I mean, then they're hearing me say this and they're like, oh, but he's bluffing, but I'm not, but I am. You know? Yeah, okay. So, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a rundown on the goods and uh, let you guys know that we got a lot of good stuff. We got a lot of good stuff. I know I keep talking about it, but we're doing it. I overthink everything. I feel like I've overthought everything and now we're in the process of doing. So this is where it's going to be fun or just to just excruciatingly disappointing. Either way, I think you guys are gonna like it. I really do. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I do really, really enjoy doing this and I'm getting into a spot where I will be able to do this more often and make better content and do better things. So I appreciate you guys uh, being so patient and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.
also like, you know, follow, subscribe, and then, and then there's a video here, but do the thing here though, for sure. Thanks guys. Thanks people.